Okay, today we're going to talk about LCM. And I'm not sure if my 5th graders have done this or not, but you will do it in 6th grade. This is called Least Common Multiple, or LCM. Because we give everything abbreviations nowadays. I'm ACB. Okay, so LCM, unlike GCF, is always going to be bigger than the number that you started with. So, if you started with 8 and 16, could your LCM be 2? No. That would be the GCF. And actually that wouldn't be a G that wouldn't be the GCF. But that would be a CF common factor. So anyway, the LCM always has to be bigger than the two numbers that you're given. Or three. We'll talk about that later. But first, let's do two numbers. So, let's do the LCM of 2 and Eight. So now we're going to put it in a chart just like we did GCF. And I think, well, LC LCM is pretty easy, but I don't know. I don't know which one's easier. If you know, if you know your math, they're both easy. But basically, here's what you're going to do. The LCM, the the common common multiples. So multiples are just all of the numbers that that number multiplies to give you. So for instance, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12. Now, just because I know from experience, we're going to look in the top and the bottom to see what number is the lowest that we have in common. And right now, we have that number. We have 8 right here, and we have 8 right here. So, our least common multiple is 8. I think it might be about time for me to get a new board. I promise, I didn't bend this one in half. All right, so we're going to continue with the least common multiple. L, C, M. And you don't have to write that every time. I'm just doing it because we're learning. And it would, it would be nice if y'all were putting this in your notes. But if you're just listening... Because I have a funny voice, and that's okay with me, too. Alright, so we're going to step it up a little bit. We're going to do the least common multiple of 12 and 8. So, we make our little chart. We find all the multiples of 12. 
Well, at least go at least go six. Sometimes it'll be more, but if you go six, you'll be fine. So twelve times one is twelve. Twelve times two is twenty-four. Twelve times three is thirty-six. Twelve times four is forty-eight. Twelve times five is sixty. And twelve times seven is seventy-two. Now, this is why knowing your multiplication tables, memorizing your multiplication tables is extremely helpful and important. But if, if you still need to do our little trick, then that's okay with me. So now we're going to do the same thing for 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. Now, a little secret. Not secret, because everybody knows. But, so when you get the first number in common, that's your least common multiple. And we see our first number in common is 24 right here and 24 right here. So we know our least common multiple is 24. Now, if you keep going, you're going to run into you're going to run into different common multiples, but you want the least common multiple, which is 24. So that is your first taste of the least common multiple. There are different situations that use least common multiple. Actually, it's more common in word problems than greatest common factor. So once we get the word problems with least common multiple, it'll be import very important. But for right now, we're just going to do two numbers, least common multiple, See you next time, guys. Keep practicing.